Hello, um, everybody. It is Tamika, a new me, 1109, and this week represents 19 weeks post-op from having lap band surgery. This past weekend, I posted my weight um, from the Spring Losers Weight Loss Challenge, and I think we're at week five there, um, and I'm at 215 pounds. One good thing that I really, really don't want to miss talking about is the fact that I am no longer um, a scale junkie. Uh, I have gotten to the point in this journey, in this walk of having Tallulah, um, my lap band um, tool, that's her name, um, I've gotten to the point where I am no longer being held captive to the scale and what it says two, three times a day. So I've overcome that. Um, and I don't know if it's because i got a whole bunch of stuff going on in my life right now, but I've, I've realized, I've noticed that I'm not doing that anymore. So at best, I might weigh one, two times uh, a week. And, you know, with uh, just various doctor's appointments that I have, I'm jumping on and off the scale. And, and a lot of times, I don't even really pay attention. Um, but one thing that I really wanted to talk about this week is something that's been going on with me and um, something that has become very, very clear. Now, I've said in uh, a video, probably recently, probably within the last couple of months, that I am a recovering, um, how did I say it? A recovering emotional eater. I think that's what I said. And I... And I'm wondering how many other people out there are, are have been, still are, with even weight loss surgery, um, are emotional eaters. So I knew that um, at some point after reflecting over my life, I realized I was an emotional eater. Eat when I'm happy, eat when I'm sad, eat any time, anything in between. Um, and I knew that when I had weight loss surgery, I would need to get that in check. Because I knew that if I still live my life that way, that I would fail. Um, you know, you can do everything you need to do as far as the band is concerned. But if you slip off on a candy bar or, or you know, a bag of Doritos like I have um, too often, then things aren't going to work out. So I knew that. I realized that. Sometimes people ask me, um, what are what are some of the tips as to how you've been uh, successful so far and and really honestly the biggest thing that I can say is Figuring out my emotions at all times and what my triggers are when I want to eat Outside of times when I'm supposed to eat so trying to keep that grazing under control trying to figure out, okay, what's making me feel like I want to eat? What is it? What is it? What is it? Um, so that I can try to understand those emotions and figure out what else I can do with it outside of eating, putting some food in my mouth. Um, as most of you guys know who have been following my channel, you know that I'm in the middle of um, health challenges right now. Uh, last off, I said that I was doing some tests. Last week I did a spinal tap. Uh, ended up on Tuesday ended up having a spinal headache from Wednesday till yesterday, which is uh, Sunday just horrible 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 couldn't stand up had to lay down um, In the midst of that Wednesday. I had uh, two MRIs. I had an MRI of my neck and I had an MRI of my spine um, You know we were looking for MS and they did find it um, so I officially have been diagnosed with MS and I thought, you know, I really want to, um, I've gotten into this blogging. Um, I think it is, um, uh, pretty cathartic. Um, it is helping me and sometimes it helps other people. So I do want to take that issue, um, to another channel. So I'll probably be starting, um, a, a MS sort of my life with MS channel. Um, still thinking about that. So. Uh, but I'm sure that I'll probably do that. But anyway, um, in the midst of uh, discovering that I had MS and dealing with that, I um, also realized when they did the neck MRI that I have uh, something going on with my thyroid. So there's had an ultrasound this morning, and um, it was confirmed that I have two nodules, well, on each side of my thyroid lobes. So I need to deal with that too. So not only, you know, was I dealing with, um, I know that I have symptoms and um, they were thinking it's MS. They confirmed that it's MS. Now you got to deal with what's going on with um, the stuff on your thyroid. Um, as the, uh, the, the 
ultrasound technician said this morning, we need to figure out what those lumpy bumpies are on your thyroid, as if I was a child. I thought she was cute, though. But anyway, um, I'm saying all of this to say, not, I don't want to be too deep off into it. I'm good with what's going on. I just want to see what's going to come out of this. Um, I'm fine. But the night that I got the official this is it email come in next week for treatment options, I was like, oh my gosh. You know I can't really eat that much because... Tallulah keeps me together, so she's, you know, I'm pretty tight right now, so I can't go out willy-nilly and, you know, eating pizza, eating, you know, whatever. I can't, I just cannot do it. I can't eat bread. I can't eat a whole bunch of nonsense. Um, so I said, I can drink, and ended up at McDonald's, large, thick, and whatever they call it, chocolate shake. Next day, I looked, it was like 1,170 calories. Now, I know why I did that. I did that because I have just sort of been dealt the card of a disease that has no cure. Um, the reality that I'll probably be injecting myself on a daily basis, um, <laughs> depending upon what meds route we go, uh, with something that to help me keep it under control. So, you know, all of that was so overwhelming, and um, I turned to something that I knew could work and it, it was awful it was good when I had it but you know looking back on that I'm like wow you you're so good with keeping it together with the food and you know that there's a way around this situation so that you can be able to get some type of satisfaction um from wanting to you know sort of um smother this situation with food or with something that you probably shouldn't be having and you went to something liquid tons of calories very very bad I don't think I'll ever do that again uh, but you know I just wanted to sort of be honest and be out there with you guys um, you know that whole emotional eating is really really deep I'm planning on doing some so I'm a life coach um, currently going through a health and wellness certification and I plan on doing some um, group coaching on just um, you know food um, probably for weight loss um, patients, um, just health wellness type thing. And the first thing I wanted to do it on was emotional eating and trying to figure out the difference between um, when you're eating because you're emotionally hungry versus you're eating because you're physically hungry. So, um, you know, I'm working on that um, just with my coaching and stuff like that. But see, when I'm learning these um, coaching techniques for my clients, I'm also fixing Tamika. So, um, you know, that's something that I needed to work on. And that's why I said, let me take it a step further and get um, a health and wellness certification on top of my um, professional life coaching certification. So, you know, I just, whatever it takes for you. You know, for me, I, you know, I, I like helping other people. I want to help myself too. I figure I need to help myself first before I can help anybody else. And so that's how I figure this thing out. Um... Anyway, just interesting, just some things that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, that emotional eating devil caught up with me. <laughs> so, I, you know, I need to just sort of put everything into perspective. This is my reality right now. Um, what joy, what goodness can I can come out of, you know, what I need to deal with right now? How can I make sure that this health, these health, situ health situations don't interfere with my lap band journey? And how do I just keep on pushing? So every week I'll continue to post here. Um, and I also, like I said, I'll probably um, start a, cha a channel for just MS because I don't see a whole bunch out there. So from my perspective, what I'm dealing with, like today I had my first um, IV steroid, um, so I'm all bandaged up, um, session today. And I'll have to do that for the next two days. So like, what is that like, you know? Um, from my perspective, I have so many different things to say about this whole process, and I'd love to vlog about it. Anyway, I just wanted to check in. I'm looking at you guys' videos. Last week was really hard for me, just lots of bad news, but I'm in a better place right now. Thank you guys for praying for me. Um, thanks for thinking about me, adding comments and things like that. I appreciate you guys so much, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. <laughs>